Tennessee's grocery tax holiday launched today, and could it be permanent? And News 12's Nick Hill is live outside the Food City in St. Elbow with the debate over the grocery tax. Nick? Emily and Andrew, several shoppers are here enjoying the first full day of the grocery tax holiday that began the, today. It is a tax burden that's not felt in most states. Only 13 of them have a grocery tax, including Tennessee. In fact, just five minutes down St. Elmo Avenue, right in front of me, in Georgia, there is no grocery tax at all. But with the grocery tax holiday beginning today, Tennessee will briefly join them. Tennessee does not have an income tax, so we have limited ways of giving money back to our citizens. This is one way of giving some of their tax dollars back to them. The volunteer state is only one of eight across the country that does not have an income tax, enshrined into the state's constitution. Therefore, sales taxes such as the grocery tax have become a key revenue source for the state government. Senator Watson says that the state is foregoing about $275 million during the free month tax holiday. The loss in revenue here should be uh, something that uh, they sh uh, the state should be able to absorb pretty easily. Dr. Bento Lobo of UTC says that the state has about three to four times the amount of revenue needed to cover short-term obligations. This has enabled the state government to pass the 2022 Tax Reform Act, which granted this grocery tax holiday. Tennessee families can expect to save anywhere from $100 to $150 a month during the grocery tax holiday. However, the question some people are asking, should this grocery tax holiday become permanent? The grocery tax is actually the most stable and reliable tax that the state of Tennessee has. This is an opportunity to give back some of folks' resources to them, but it's not a long-term strategy. A lack of a grocery tax would likely mean higher taxes on other items as well. If they were to get rid of the sales tax altogether, they would have to raise property taxes. Then they would have to think about raising the rate on non-food items to, to finance that budget gap. As long as Tennessee does not have an income tax, expect the grocery tax to stick around. People are flocking to Tennessee because we don't have an income tax. As a reminder, the grocery tax applies to most grocery items, but not everything. Items such as candy, alcohol, and prepared food are exempt from this tax holiday. The holiday will last through Halloween night on October 31st at midnight. Reporting live from St. Elmo, Nick Hill, News 12.